For this demo video, I'm going to be showing you how to start your slab plate for rolling out the form and starting to do your design. So just a reminder, you either have the option to do a slip trailing plate like the one on the left or a scurfito plate like the one on the right. You also have the option besides doing a circular form, you can also do more of a rectangular or square plate or platter. This one has scurfito and slip trailing on it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is decide if you want to do a platter or a plate. Um, you're going to want to choose one of the forms and you're going to want to grab a plastic bag to wrap around it. Some other tools that you are going to need are a pouncing tool, rolling pin, guide sticks, needle tool, a bat, plastic bag, banding wheel, and of course a canvas. So I have my canvas laid out. I'm going to take my clay, a little bit more clay than normal. I'm going to take my plate form that I'm doing. I'm going to put a plastic bag around it so that way the clay won't stick to it. And I'm going to do the slump method for starters. So I have the plate facing up. So I have my canvas out. I'm going to start throwing the clay down, kind of flipping it over as I go. So that way it stretches and I'm not throwing it straight down but at an angle. I take my guide sticks. I have it on either side. My rolling pin bounces from side to side. But overall the rolling pin is over at least one of the guide sticks so that way my clay is getting to the thickness of the guide stick so it's nice and even. Double check. Then you want to take a rib and you want to compress that clay on either side to make it nice and strong. Then I'm taking that clay, putting it over my form, cutting off some of the excess but not to get too close to the plate. I'll trim that off later once it's drier at leather hard. And taking my pouncing tool and bouncing on my form, so kind of pulling up on the edge so that way it stretches through the form and that way it won't get too thin. Take it off just a little bit more, then lightly. Another option that you can do is also to use a template if you want a specific shape. So I have a pre-cut drawing paper shape to a rectangle for something more like a sushi platter. I lay that on my rolled out clay, cut it out the shape, and then I'm going to put it over the top of my form, which is a hump method. Then I'm just using the pouncing tool and taking the shape of my plate. Now what's nice about the hump method is I can also roll out a coil so that way I can put it onto my form and not have to wait. So I want to make sure my coil is nice and even. I've kind of marked where the edges are on my form so that way it's not too far in or too far out so that way the plate won't sag. Then just score and sip as usual, smoothing out at least the inside and then kind of clean up the outside, take a bat kind of push it on top so that way it levels that foot. And then so just to kind of show you the difference between the foot, so the top one is one which you want. So you want that foot to be right below the threshold where the other ones are too far in or too far away and you get sagging. So just to kind of show what that foot looks like close up, so everything's smoothed in on the inside. It's on a bat for support so it's easy to transport and you're leaving it on to dry to leather hard. So you want to bag it lightly so there's air reaching your plate, but especially if you have the template for a square or rectangular plate or platter, you want to make sure that those corners are protected so that way they do not dry too quickly and they end up breaking off. So you want to make sure that's tucked underneath, but there's still plenty of air so that way it'll dry so you can do your transfer the next day. So once this part... So you can set your project off to the side so that way it can start to dry. So hopefully by tomorrow you can transfer this design. So you want to take a piece of drawing paper, look at your sketch, and you want to draw out exactly what you would want to be able to transfer onto your clay, whether you're doing slip trailing or scurfito.